well 2016 is like officially over for a week now and the last thing I did in the last year was basically just go and bought myself a ticket to wherever so this is a whole new page of life for me because this was the crazy decision and I'm so much happier with it than I was with most of my decisions I made in my life I think that all of those and I was thinking and thinking and overthinking them just turned out totally terrible and I'm just really happy that I did what I did and I might be sorry one day but I'm going to live now and regret later so that's a really good way to start a year I believe but also like everybody is saying that 2016 was the worst year ever I don't even think it was that bad for me I mean I can't say that I've been particularly productive I can't say that I did something really special I can't say anything like that but I kind of honestly believe that it wasn't that bad it wasn't super good or super special but it wasn't bad at all to capture down what 2016 was about I did this little super stupid list of dumb questions to ask myself what I liked about the year and what I didn't like about the year and then everybody can decide from themselves if it was another wasted year which it definitely was or was it actually a okay one the best and the worst moment <laughs> the best moment um perhaps when my brother randomly decided like at 11 in the evening he was like we should go to Moscow and I was like yeah we should go to Moscow and then we just went to Moscow pretty much without any specific planning okay it was like three months later but still and that was a really great thing um, I wanted to go for so long I really wanted to go to Russia and I we just did it I never expected I would ever even go there and we just did it and that was perhaps the best moment of the last year worst moment I started going to graphic school I hate graphic school, I hate everything graphic, I just... Seriously, and the worst part about this is that I hated to go there and then I got to the graphic school and I realized that three quarters of the child they will be in school is about math, not even about graphic. So I hated it absolutely so much, like, why are we doing math if it's graphic school? But the worst of part of it is that at the end I hated graphic classes even more than I hated math. So that was definitely the worst moment. Happiest and saddest thing, or basically happiest thing someone told you and saddest thing that someone told you. Um, happiest thing someone told me. I'm sorry, but there's no more seats on a train. That's really personal, stupid joke, and it just recently happened, and it's the first thing that came to my mind. But I just remembered that these people at the train station were very um politely telling me like I'm really sorry but there's no more available seats on a train like please don't panic don't freak out please you know and I was like oh, okay okay there's no more seats that's perfect and I never left at night and I haven't left for two more days and that was the best thing ever the saddest thing that happened was definitely when our cat and our dog died our cat got hit by a car and our dog was ill so that was freaking fucking sad. <gasps> Favorite movie, song, and book? Ah, uh, book. I don't think I particularly read something this year. I just really don't think so. I usually went to the seaside and I was just reading stuff there for like two weeks. But I didn't really went to the seaside this year. I mean, I did, but for like three, four days. And I, I didn't have a book with me, or I did, and I never read it. And I just haven't read any particular books. But, um... Probably the only child because I really like the way it was written in. It's like about 15 year old girl and when I was 15 I was writing like a journal, like you know a diary and I was writing it in exactly the same style that this book is written in. So that's why I really like that book. Favorite song? That's easy because I, I still got the iPod. <laughs> this is like 10 years old now. You can just check which songs you ordered when and then you can check which of those songs you are listening to the most. And I figure out that mine was this. Favorite movie? I really don't know. I haven't even seen that many movies that came out this year. I went to see Suicide Squad. And I was like really excited about the Suicide Squad, but I was really let down by the end. I just thought it was like the superhero movie villain version, you know, I was like, yes, 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 I like villains, I mean, I'm evil. They finally made a movie about people like me, you know, but it turned out to be total whatever. It's, I just really didn't expect it to be like it was, and 
uh, it was good to look at because everybody was good looking, but that's basically the story sucked. I'm sorry. I saw the whole Matrix trilogy like start to the end this year because before I only see like parts of the first movie or whatever, but I saw like all three movies this year, so I would say that was my top movie of the year, even though she's like more than 10 years old, it doesn't matter. <laughs> New experiences and things I have tried for the first time. <laughs> I have no clue. Last New Year's Eve I received this um, special coupon from my brother and it was like adventure coupon so you were supposed to go on an adventure, not like in a hobby but like something excited and I decided I'll go to these um, when you go on a plane, you know, and then they do little things and everything, but I just never went, so that didn't work out. And another new experience I wanted was I wanted to go like parachuting, like not really like when you jump from the plane, but just when you jump off the hill. And my dad wanted to go for a really long time, but he wanted to do the plane version, but it's still something, you know, and I found this really great offer online and I was like, are we going? And then we were like, yes, but then we never went. So we almost did once, but the weather stopped the day and then it was canceled and the new experience, come on, I got to think of something. Something I tried for the first time. Some, oh. That weird thing they have in Finland to eat. It's like a little weird pancake and it's filled with rice and it's called something rice in Finnish language and well so that's the thing I tried for the first time and um, otherwise I don't know what exactly and I spent the whole night on the airport and I never did that before and I spent my last money instead of going for breakfast because all the breakfast corners were so crowded I didn't want it to wait and I spent it, my last 10, 10 pounds on a book. That's a really weird story, it's not an experience but okay, it is what it is. New places visited. So I've already said like um, Russia, right? So I've been to Russia, to Finland, to Estonia because that's all like all together. And then I also went to Bulgaria and yeah, I'm great at counting. <laughs> the other day they asked me like, which side do you start counting from? And I was like, I start from the middle, that's why I never get to more than three. <laughs> okay, but yeah, Russia, Finland, Estonia, Bulgaria and have been Slovakia. And I think that's it. Five countries, that's not so bad at all. Greatest achievement, accomplishment, creation. <laughs> Can we skip this one? I did Italian class which top grade and top of my class. How about that? And it sounds really awesome if you don't admit that there were only like two people in your class and the other person in the class actually had like five other classes to go to and you only had Italian class. But it still sounds great, come on. Yeah, I did Italian class like top of my class, class, whatever. Best decision and worst decision. Yeah, best decision. Best decision was probably this one of going to Russia. And I think I would never actually do it, but my brother went and told everybody we're going to Russia, we're going to Russia, we're going to Russia. And then I was just like, shit, now we have to go because we would turn out like total idiots if we don't go. So I just went and bought a ticket to go there. And then it took me like two weeks to buy another ticket to come back. But <laughs> that doesn't matter. The point is we went. So that was the best decision. And worst decision. I signed up to graphic school. It doesn't get worse than that. It just doesn't. <gasps> oh yeah, and the worst thing that somebody told me, it was this professor from the graphic class. It's not even a professor, it's assistant. And he just always said everything against the professor. If professor's gonna say this is good, he's gonna say exactly opposite, just to be exactly opposite. And he's so disrespectful to the client and blah, 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 long story short. The thing was that the client said it, he want like the wooden pattern on a wall. And professor got crazy and he was like, what do you, who are you to tell anyone what do you want on a wall? You have architect for that. If you're so smart that you know how to put anything on a wall, you can do it yourself. And if you're so smart that you know that, you can also design a fucking logo yourself. And if everybody can design their own fucking logo, everybody can build their own cars. <laughs> I'm supposed to know how to design a logo because I go to that school and nobody ever fucking show me. So apparently everybody can design their own logo, but by the logic of professor, I'm also totally capable of building my own car. So thank you of thinking so good of me, but 
I just never heard such an idiotic thing. And I've been to church like twice and I was like, what the fuck are these people talking about? But this is so much dumber. Like seriously, if you think that religious people say stupid stuff, no, you just never talk with graphic designers. And don't. If you don't have to, don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth your life. Ah, yeah. This can also be counted under the biggest disappointment because this was actually one of the suckiest moments. And I hated it. Celebrity crush. Yay! I have no idea. Can I still stick with Margot Robbie even after? It was so disappointing. I mean, she wasn't disappointing in Suicide Squad. The movie was disappointing, but I kind of have like this celebrity crush on her ever since I saw her in Pan Am. <laughs> it was just so cute and it was before Wolf of Wall Street and everything and I was just like really really falling for her and then she was in Wolf of Wall Street and suddenly everybody was falling for her so it wasn't even interesting um, but I really don't think I have celebrity crush on anybody else so I can't really think of somebody that I would like discover this year and be like oh, you're so damn good looking most helpful person or a friend no, I could definitely be the last helpful person or friend. And I assume that's it. I actually told there was a list of things that you are supposed to ask yourself at the end of the year to do a review of how great it was, but apparently there is not because I couldn't find any. And I just made up something of my, for myself, like what you like, what you don't like, like what's your favorite color, it's still lavender. But in general, you know, uh, you just wanted to look at the most memorable moments, but the problem is that you, your most memorable moments somehow just all appear in December because <laughs> it happened like two weeks ago and you are totally still into that period What things that happen in January or so much somewhere in between are just not so, you know, emotionally crazy over you. But yeah, if there would be no graphic school, the year would be great. If there would be an actual achievement beside my Italian class, the year would be totally great because I remember that at the beginning of the year I went to this um, job conference, employment conference, and my brother and I had a dream of making our own, I wouldn't really say a brand, but we designed this little crazy figure like Hello Kitty or something. And we wanted to do like the whole line of this, like the clothes and office supplies, stuff like that. And when I went to the conference, people asked me like, what are you up to? And I was like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But then I never did anything and the whole year went by. So that's like useless. But yeah, I'm not so disappointed with my year in general. I think that's it. And for New Year, as I said, I bought myself a ticket. So that's the last thing I did in the past year. And the first thing I did in this year was like telling people I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And nobody even believed me. But that's it. Something is ahead of me. That's good way to start. I'm kind of waving goodbye to the bloody graphic school because if I ever get lucky, maybe you'll never see me again or my dead body. But um, maybe I'll make one of my ideas too. My problem is that I always think of too many ideas and then I just never stick to one and make one happen because I'm already thinking of something else. But I think that's basically it. I think it's a good start, a positive start for the start. Because last year I don't think I was that positive. Um, I'm not saying hype because everybody's like this year's gonna be the best. I know this year's not gonna be the best. It's not gonna be the best, let's face it. But there is something ahead of me and that's great thing to know. And I hope everybody has a really fulfilling year and, you know, just follow your inspiration. And remember, inspiration comes from the lazy people. So love to everyone lazy out there. You're amazing. <laughs>